back on Friday Night SmackDown on Fox, there's Hit Row. Hit Row is supposed to take on McIntyre and Sheamus in the semifinal match of the Tag Team Title Contenders Tournament. But let's show you uh, what happened during the commercial break after McIntyre and Sheamus have been attacked by the Viking Raiders during their entrance. And the people say I want to get those sons of the bitches. Hey, you're playing the way to see what they did. Hey, somebody hey, throw it down for you. Sheamus and McIntyre storming back to the locker room area, apparently in search of the Viking Raiders as WWE official Adam Pearce tried to talk them off the ledge. Sheamus and Drew lost their damn minds. They want Viking blood. Don't, don't, no, don't be coming out here with that. Second, guys, look, yes, I saw what happened. Everybody saw what happened, but I'm trying to explain to you if you'd listen. Drew and Sheamus are not going to compete. They voluntarily gave up their position in the tournament. No, I'm not just going to raise your hand because nobody's going to get a free pass into the finals. Everybody will compete for their opportunity tonight, and you will face a replacement team, ladies and gentlemen. The replacement team. What? <laughs> this for? Hey, WWE official Adam Pierce. He makes the rules. Friday Night Smackdown on Fox is sponsored by Progressive. Hit Row may want to take out policy. Strowman and Ricochet. Of course, Ricochet eliminated Top Doll in a matchup a couple of weeks ago, allowing Ricochet to qualify for the Royal Rumble match. And then Top Doll has been a Cutting all these diss tracks uh, against Ricochet. So, some uh, payback now, perhaps tonight for Ricochet. This is the semifinal match in the Tag Team Titles Contenders Tournament. The winner will face the winner of the Imperium Legato Del Fantasma matchup scheduled later on tonight. Well, let me get this right. It was wrong for Hit Row to get a bye into the final, but essentially Ricochet and Braun Strowman have got themselves a bye into the semifinal of this tournament. How is that any better, Michael Cole? Why do you got to bring logic to the situation? Can't you just have fun? I'll tell you what, Adam Pearce is like a permanent Monday morning. So here we go. It'll be a shot day. Leodonis starting things off against Ricochet. You know, it's interesting the relationship that Ricochet has developed here with Braun Strowman on the Clutch Points website earlier this week. Ricochet said that Braun's been great. Uh, we've always had a great relationship. It's always cool to have a monster in my pocket just in case. And he said we could be dangerous if we were ever allowed to be a tag team. And hence, here we are tonight. Oh, here we are. It all started with an insult from Braun Strowman calling Ricochet a flippy floppy competitor. Do you think Braun Strowman oh. thinks Top Dollar is a flippy floppy competitor, Michael? Uh, he flops. I don't know about flips. Listen, you need to fly under the radar this week with regards to Top Dollar. He's very angry with you. No, top Dollar can't fly anywhere. But nonetheless, Ricochet. Ricochet with a scoop to Ashante Leodonis. And the high flyer Ricochet who can show uh, everyone how it's done. Cover now and a kick out. What a live wire competitor Ricochet clearly is. And you know Hit Row are completely unprepared for this kind of task in front of them. You know Ricochet and Strowman the team tonight. However, tomorrow night, the Royal Rumble match, it will be every man for himself. Ricochet and Strowman a part of that match tomorrow night. How do you think they feel about Bro oh. Lesnar now being in said Royal Rumble match? Strowman and Brock have had run-ins in the past. And now up top dollar. Don't teach him to run his mouth. Dollar talking his talk to you. He needs to focus on the match in hand. Exactly. And meanwhile, BFAB, BFAB getting involved in a shot day with a nice drop kick. A drop, drop kick. Textbook. Hook of the leg to advance to the finals. And a kick out by Ricochet. Well, Hit Row were unable to get out of the blocks in this one until the perfect intervention of BFAB on the outside. Hit Row says by any means necessary. We can have bangers of our own beat Los Lotharios to get to the semifinals. I think Seamus Drew and the Viking Raiders might be somewhere in Laredo having a banger right now. And you think Ashante and Top Dollar might want to put Ricochet away rather quickly before he could tag the monster of all monsters into this match. The last thing you want in this situation is the meat-tacular Braun Strowman getting oh. involved. 
You probably thought about that all day on the ride in here today. Cover by Top Dollar. Hook of the leg and a kick out by Ricochet. Ricochet is starting to look like he needs that tag in the worst way. And in fairness to hit row, I don't believe Ricochet and Braun Strowman should even be in this competition right now. But that's an argument for another day, perhaps. Wait, it doesn't matter. You, you don't run the show here. Adam Pearce does, and that's the decision he made. Good for him. Good for him, Michael Cole. I should be running the damn show. Okay. And here we go now. A shot to right to the back of the neck of Ricochet. And hit row continues to wear Ricochet down. And hats off to Hit Row amidst all the jokes once they get... Oh, another cheap oh. shot by b -Fan. Oh, but it was so perfect to the job of Ricochet. By a shot day, hook of the leg and a kick out. B-Fab has changed like the rest of them. And I like it. They're starting to make moves in this game now. They're in the semi-finals of the number one contender SmackDown Tag Team Tournament. Strowman cannot wait to get into this match. If he can get into the match. The way things are going, it is looking bleak. Hit Row doing a great job, and Tag made now to top dollar. Of wearing Ricochet down, keeping him away from his tag team partner, Strowman. Hit Row get the dub tonight. They'll be partying with the boys, Henny and Dom P at the club layer. Ooh. You know, oh, you don't know, actually. You're a mineral water kind of guy, right, Cole? Oh, whoa! Slammed by Shante. I like in the last and the shot they uh, just continuing to toy with Ricochet. Taking a lot of time. Gonna cost him. Ricochet with a roll up and a kick out at two. Gotta keep your eye on Ricochet at all times. Slippery customer. He'll make you pay if you take your eye off the ball. Ricochet trying to make a tag to Braun Strowman. As they arm's length away. Ducks underneath the Shante. Right hand by Ricochet, trying to create some space. Almost there, trying to drag Ashante across the ring. Fingertips away now. Swing and a miss, but Ricochet don't go down easy. Tag! Oh, no. Here comes the monster. Not so fast. Right hand to top dollar. Big boot by Strowman. The man who won the greatest Royal Rumble a few years ago, rumbling in this match. There is nowhere in the world I'd last like to be than in the ring with Braun Strowman on a roll. Braun Strowman made sure Top Dollar went over the top rope the right way that time. Well, you thought, oh, please. And here we go now. Big back body drop. Braun fed behemoth looking for that monster bomb call. Meanwhile, Ricochet, who likes to call himself the highlight of the night, and that's why. A monster bomb! Cover by Strowman! Welcome to the semi, to the finals, I should say. That should be the semi. So if you're Imperium or Legato Del Fantasma who meet later on tonight, this is what you could be facing in the finals. This is what you call a screw job in my eyes, but never mind. Ricochet and Braun all the way through. I don't care who you are on this planet. Connect with that monster bomb. It is over. Well, let's take a look at the brackets heading into the finals next week in Greenville, South Carolina. Strowman and Ricochet. Who will they face? The other semi-final matchup later on tonight, Imperium in Legado del Fantasma. No might be friendship, but gelling well together and all the way to the final goal.